Sea of Thieves, Banjo-Kazooie, Outer Wilds, The Last of Us, and Stardew Valley. We all have this list. The list of games you wish you could wipe your memory and play again for the first time. Nothing beats those first couple sessions out at sea. Everything was new, and even the sight of other players on the horizon got your heart racing. You had zero expectations and zero idea what you were doing, but all you knew was that you were having fun. Five years into the supposed 10-year plan of Sea of Thieves, and I find myself thinking about this more and more each day. After seeing that original E3 trailer, I got into the Sea of Thieves alpha and then hopped into the beta eventually with my brother. While we don't have many clips from back then, what we do have is a reminder of a simpler time. Running into rocks made your heart skip a beat. It was entertainment rather than an obstacle. There's one, two. Uh, we're fine. Just a stuff. little bump. Yeah, just a little bump. A little bit of water. No big deal. Never heard any. Oh, God. Puking on your crewmates was the funniest thing you'd done all week. Everywhere <laughs> projectile Clean vomit. It Clean it up. <laughs> I'm throwing up <laughs> all over. Let me see. Be, be, be please. Stay, there, stay still. Uh, and yes, open crew was still garbage. He's, he's berating his driver. Oh, grab the guy. Trying DJ to drop Jared, anchor. Please stop turning us back into the rock. <laughs> Why? Dude. Did these guys just yeah that's uh, that's randos he, one guy keeps dropping the anchor they need to put him in the brig with all of this in mind we recently had a discussion on my stream at twitch.tv slash blurbs where i stream every weekday and most weekends i pose this question to you would you rather play a sea of thieves 2 or a brand new game by the sea of thieves dev team with the same sandbox mechanics and gameplay that we all love today I honestly can't imagine why anyone would rather a sequel to Sea of Thieves. Hear me out. I've said this before. The only reason for a sequel would be a new map or a new game engine to make the game run smoother. But even so, whatever the team at Rare does next could essentially be the same as wiping your memory to play Sea of Thieves again for the first time. Many of you are probably about to comment about Everwild, the other game Rare's making, but that game is by a separate team. I know SOT still has another five years left in it, but personally, I cannot wait to see what their team does next. There are so few experiences out there today like Sea of Thieves. Rare took a risk making an open PvPvE sandbox with cosmetic-only progression, but now it's one of the biggest hits on Game Pass. Publishers today are way too afraid to back games that are truly unique, and who knows when we'll see another game like this. But if Rare makes another multiplayer sandbox, it could be a Western, it could be in space, medieval, wartime, even modern day. I couldn't care less. Sign me up. I need another sandbox fix. <clears throat> Sorry. Thanks for watching, guys.